Hello guys, hello Africa, hello people. Once again, welcome to another video on the Business in Africa YouTube channel. And you know what I do here all the time, right? I just come here to encourage you guys to get started on the African continent. If you're an investor that you want to invest in Africa, then I'm quite certain this is the channel you should be watching. Today I'll be taking a comment from, um, from someone from Saudi Arabia, and his name is Osama al Hosawi, o Osama al Hosawi, and what he commented was, please make a video on the topic of agricultural investment in Cameroon and what are the taxes and facilities for foreign investors. And you mentioned in this video that renting land for one hectare is $50 so that so what if you want 1,000 hectares and is there a purchase of land for you? I am from Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much. Wow, these are the comments I love, guys. Osama al Osama al Hosawi. Al Come on. Osama al Hosawi. Thank you so much for dropping that comment. Um, I'm going to respond to your question. And as I always say here, if you're watching me for the first time, please make sure you drop me your comments because, um, in fact, since this year, 2022, I always come here just to give responses to questions that you guys ask, okay? Now, he's interested in the agricultural sector in Cameroon. Fortunately, I am based here in Cameroon, so I can talk very, very much about this sector. Now, the first thing is, yes, there are so many um, opportunities in the agricultural sector in Cameroon, okay? Just like there are so many opportunities in Africa as well. And being a farmer myself, I can just go on and on and on and on, okay? Now, um, the first thing you asked is that what are the taxes involved and if can you have um, up to about 1,000 hectares of land? In Cameroon, there are basically no taxes when it comes to agriculture. What you just have is um, probably licenses or authorization or in French we call them agreements, you understand? So if you just grow your crop and go to the market to sell, there is really no tax as per se. You probably just have some market tax by the time you're in the market to sell your products and that's it. But if you have to transform your goods to maybe um, some kind of consumable products, then you probably, um, you have to have some kind of authorization to do that because these are things that um, the population is going to consume, okay? So you probably have some authorizations and it's been regulated, okay? So when it comes to taxes, you really don't have much. And the other Good, the, another good thing about Cameroon is that for um, if you're importing agricultural things like agricultural raw materials and machineries, you have a zero percent import duty tax on those machines. Okay, so it's kind of like you're not going to pay anything at um, you know at the ports for import duties. So that's a good thing. So you can really start very big projects here. But then if you're a foreigner, as you say you're from Saudi Arabia, then I'll advise that if you want to have that kind of like 1,000 hectares of land or more, then I'll advise that you work in partnership with local um, um, organizations. We have so many NGOs, we have so many um, cooperative societies in Cameroon that you can work with and then, you know, um, um, carry out your project through them. That's more secure in terms of any other thing, but of course, if you want to come and then create your own um, um, cooperative and then, you know, own your own land, of course, you're welcome as well. It's possible in Cameroon, but my advice would be, you know, work with one of, you know, the people on land. Or for example, I run an organization called Urban Farmers Association. We help people like you set up farms in, in Cameroon and in other parts of Africa. So you can work with us and we'll be able to help you with that. Now, having up to about 1,000 um, square meters of land is that's that's kind of like big okay so you are not going to have that where there is the city so you're probably going to go right down into the rural areas to be able to have that kind of quantity of land but yes it's available Cameroon has 
um, so much land that's been unused, arable land that has never been farmed. We call that the black bush here yeah, yeah, in Cameroon or, the, or the, 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 the black forest. So you'll be the first to start farming on such land and know that that's not going to be besides the city. So you probably have to go right down the rural areas into the villages before you can have that. But yes, it's possible to own land, it's possible to farm land. And um, yes, I did a video and I said you can um, you can actually rent land for uh, for close to about fifty dollars per, per per year. That's about twenty five thousand, ten thousand francs. Yeah, between fifty and hundred dollars, but it depends on where the land is. Okay, so there are areas where you can get land that cheap, but there are areas where you can uh, um, rent far more expensive depending on the individual or depending on the person that's renting the land to you. So people rent land for, you know, a period of one year minimum, two years, three years, depending on your arrangement with the person. And you will not be allowed to plant any long-term crop like cocoa and coffee and things like that. So when you rent land most of the time, you'll probably just do short-term crops because the person might want to use their land and they'll have to take you off the property. So you'll probably just want to you know um, um grow short-term crops like maize groundnuts you know pepper and things like that so that anytime they come and say you should you know quit the land you can always just leave harvest your products and then you go okay so that's possible and if you're looking at investing in africa or investing in cameroon the numbers are on the screen please you can contact us contact me i will be there to respond to you and i'll be there to help you see through your project now i have um i'm going to say this i have a lot of people who reach me out on my whatsapp um i think i have to start making certain things clear please if you reach me out on my whatsapp um i'm going to charge you a fee for my time exchanging with you okay i see a lot of people reach me and by the time i tell them hey my services are paid they get they kind of like get angry i don't know i don't know why but if you want me to answer your questions for free please drop it in the comment section below because i'm going to read it i'm going to take my time and i'm going to prepare a response and do a video for the community okay so if you don't want to pay for my services but you still want to get information from me drop it in the comment section below let me ask your questions openly in the comment section and i will do a video for that remember this is different from you coming one-on-one -on -one with me okay on whatsapp because when I do a video, I'll drop it in the on YouTube and it's going to be for the whole community, okay? So please keep dropping. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your questions. And I will do this on a daily basis. So if you watch this video, drop me your comments, ask me any question you want to ask. I'll come back with responses. And I'm sure this was a very, very value-added response to your question. And thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hey, don't go away, please. Don't go away without clicking on the subscribe button and also ringing the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.